With a much anticipated bang of the gavel, a new anti-terror law was approved by the Indonesian parliament on Friday. Changes to existing laws were initially proposed two years ago. A series of recent suicide bomb attacks renewed focus. Earlier this month, more than 20 people were killed at churches in a main police station in Surabaya, Indonesia's second largest city. Two families, including children, carried out the attacks. ISIL claimed responsibility. Supporters of the new law say it gives more tools to the government and law enforcement to prevent attacks. It also says if someone is charged with an offense when children are involved, the penalty will be increased by a third. Our old law is only about the response to terror acts, and we know if we are only responding, it won't solve the problem. They are always new terrorists. More than 1,000 Indonesians have traveled to Syria and Iraq to join ISIL's fight. It's estimated 500 have returned. The new law allows police to charge Indonesians proven to have joined a terrorist group while abroad, and also those who have trained or simply planned to carry out attacks. Negotiations went late into Thursday night before the new anti-terrorism law was passed here in Parliament on Friday. Much of the discussion was focused on the definition of terrorism. The law also includes a role for the Indonesian Army, the TNI, in combating terrorism. The government said they'll only be brought in for larger incidents. The president has a year to detail exactly what the TNI's anti-terrorism role will be. New funding and support for attack victims is part of the new law. Suchipto Hari Wibowo was injured in a 2004 bombing. We are optimistic that the government is going to act on the support and compensation for victims. We've been fighting for this for a long time. After the church bombings in Surabaya, President Joko Widodo proposed a rule in lieu of law if parliament failed to pass the new legislation. But it seems suicide attacks have pushed members of parliament to act. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.